Money is not going to make bitumen float. You've uh, outlined your objections, and I was wondering where First Nations were now going to take this uh, into the courts. Well, they are in the courts now. I don't see that this path is going to stop anytime soon. And I think for far too long, Canada has enjoyed a rather squeaky clean image in terms of the international presence. But when you look at Canada's history, you realize that racism is something that is the foundation of Canada. And this generation is now faced with the, the onerous task of coming to terms with the past of this country and charting a new course we don't perpetuate the forefathers' approach of disregarding of our people. First Nation Chief Bob Chamberlain, Vice President of the Union of British Columbia India Chiefs. Let's speak now to George Hoberg, an environmental policy expert at the University of British Columbia. Um, what is the government's um, argument for this oil pipeline? They keep saying it's in the national interest. And what they mean by that is there are, as you were suggesting, a significant amount of revenues available from uh, the oil sands expansion that would flow from building this pipeline. And those would find, them, find their ways into the uh, government revenues of um, provinces and the federal government. There is some sort of pipeline there is there already, uh, uh, and this government plan is to expand it, is it? Yes, the, there's an existing pipeline that's been in place since 1953, but the Trans Mountain Expansion Project would triple its capacity and send that uh, new capacity overseas. That's the intention of it. So it would lead to significantly more greenhouse gas emissions and significantly more tanker traffic. Uh, why tanker traffic if there's an oil pipeline? Uh, the Its terminus is at a... Uh, a facility for tankers and right now there's about a tanker per week and uh, when we if this pipeline gets approved and comes into operation they're anticipating uh, about seven a week so it's a, it's a, it's a seven-fold increase in tanker traffic we've already had some of the objections of the first nations in canada but uh, the province of british columbia is also not at all happy why is that well, for very similar reasons, actually. Their biggest concern, express concern, is over oil spills, uh, either to rivers or uh, the sea around uh, the Vancouver area in the so-called Salish Sea. Uh, they're also concerned about greenhouse gases, but that's been less of an issue uh, than uh, the spills of diluted bitumen that have been a topmost of concern to the province. The real question is whether the province has the authority under the Constitution to regulate the oil that flows through the pipeline. That's the question that the province of British Columbia has referred uh, to the BC Court of Appeal. So we've got uh, two neighboring provinces, if you like, Alberta and British Columbia, at war with each other. And that's why the federal government has, at long last, uh, stepped in and resolved it by taking ownership in it.